I've been looking forward to this segment all day. Artificial intelligence is gaining a whole lot of attention right now. You can't go a day without hearing something about it. Recently, Case Western Reserve University and University Hospitals rather announced that they're teaming up to study how AI can predict cardiovascular disease. So that would be a good use. Right, and we know that it can be used for good, but we keep hearing all the concerns about AI getting into the wrong hands and the bad side of it. Just this week, leaders in the field testified before a congressional committee urging for leaders to put safeguards, make regulations on AI. So we brought in a local expert to break it all down for us. Dr. Vipin Chaudhry, the chair for computer sciences at Case Western Reserve University joins us now. First, let's talk about the good because there is so much good that can be done. This is like a human brain times how many thousands? I mean, it's incredible how quick and how, how precise these calculations and whatnot can be. How can AI change our lives for the better? So the first thing is it's going to increase your productivity. It's increasing everyone's productivity. Even the people who work in AI, it is increasing their productivity. <laughs> so if you want to write a program to do certain things, well, it can generate that for you. It will increase the productivity in manufacturing. You can detect things. And the biggest impact, which we will see in general, most common people, is customer service. Mm. You know, you're used to calling, and uh, you get this uh, robot on the other side. Which uh, never robot, understands what, we, what we're saying. Right. But they're going to get a lot better, right? Good, okay. are, because if you've interacted with ChatGPT or BART, you see how well you can interface. So now it will do a lot of that, what people would do and make errors, potentially with less errors. Yeah. You wouldn't even know you're talking to a robot. We have seen, and maybe it's the media is just focusing on some of the bad uses of the technology, but we've seen how they can be used in scams. Mm -hmm. They can take your voice and make people think that it's you when it's not. We don't even know whether we can trust our eyes either anymore. We see video that didn't exist. It was created. What are your concerns about, uh, about artificial intelligence? So it needs to be regulated in some sense because you can create all these things and you know in the social media you can create a lot of havoc. So people are impersonating others, uh, people are generating aspects which you shouldn't be using. So just like any technology, you have the positives and the negatives. You can use the same technology. For example, you have great motors, mm -hmm. you can use that to create uh, missiles or you can use that for good purpose. You have nuclear energy, you can use that to generate energy or you can create uh, WMDs. So the same way, AI, you can do a lot of bad with it. And the biggest threat right now, in my opinion, is it is moving very, very fast. Right. And technology access to others is just tremendously fast now. With a lot of the other technologies in the past, it didn't get to everyone that quickly. Mm -hmm. And the changes that are happening, even for people who work in the area of AI, it's very surprising what the next week is going to bring. Dr. Chard, mm -hmm. we only have about 30 seconds or so left. What's it like to be teaching at this moment? I mean, computer science has evolved a lot, probably in your career. But is this like the next hit the gas pedal and go? How are you keeping up with it? It's, it's hard to keep up. I myself am using some of these tools to see what can be done next. <laughs> right? So if you have to teach something new and the space is very big, I use those tools myself to see how you can change things. So we are going to incorporate these technologies in teaching better. In fact, a major positive of AI is also going to be how to teach people such things very, very quickly and efficiently. Wow. It it's is It's going fast. Dr. Vipin Chaudhary, thank you very much. Uh, I, I could talk for hours on this because I'm so fast. I have a million questions. <laughs> he does have questions. But we only have three minutes, so we, we make do with what we can. <laughs> thank you See, for artificial intelligence me. in the future, we'll be able to uh, cram in a 90-minute conversation in five minutes. Right. It'll, sure. it'll decide what are the most pertinent questions from everybody else <laughs> rather than just you. That's exactly right. And it could reverse that, too. <laughs> yeah, <That's true. laughs> I know. You can say a sentence and say create a whole segment about it and it'll do it. Oh, geez. We've seen that. We've, we've messed around with that technology here. Tell ChatGPT, write a tease to um, tell everybody what's coming up in the second half hour of the show. And it does it. Sometimes better than we can. Well, let's see what you wrote. Well, this is what I wrote.